Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new, I'm KJ by the way, and today we are going to be doing a reaction video, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so last night I was scrolling through YouTube and I found this video on my homepage called How to Make Ghetto Pizzas. Honestly, I feel like this is something random YouTube decided to just toss at me, but let's try it. Last night, it's a lot less because really nobody really ate it like that, so it's a lot of meat left. We're going to stir it around and let it warm up first. Complaining about me using my metal spoon, messing up my pots and saying i'm um y'all been saying i'm messing up my pots what is this oh that's the fat i'm like what is this but that's the fat from the meat he didn't drain this meat good okay, so last night, last night all i'm doing it, is letting it making warm, the warm up on the stove for the Publix, and i got these hoagie rolls normally we use cuban bread however cuban bread has been selling out like hot cakes I don't know what everybody got going on. They're trying to make a Cuban sandwich. If you know, they using it on the side mm, of toast. Yeah, just, but we got some hoagie rolls. Typically, you would want to use Cuban. So if you can get Cuban bread, get Cuban bread. What you're going to do now is just take your foil, which I got from Dollar, Dollar Tree. tree. For $1. Dollar Never heard of it. I'm going to take your foil out. Let's take out some foil because I'm going to end up putting my meat and stuff on here. But, you know, now that I'm a YouTuber now, I'm a YouTuber, and I might could get a little bougie on y'all, because my mama had got me these glass, these glass things. Let me show y'all. My had got me these glass little pans for Mother's Day. So I might end up putting it in here, because I've never cooked them in here. But typically, I use foil, you know? She was foil, but they got me this to be, like, all bougie and big time on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see my little nice set? Cause y'all kept on getting on me about my knives, but I bit, already had it. I just had it up top. I don't use it. Well, the kids I love my Dollar Tree knife. All right, so, All right, so what we gonna do is we just gonna split this down the middle. Oh shit! I just cut off my finger. We got a kid in the refrigerator. Let hating on their mama. I'm gonna cut all my breads first. Let's just get that part over with. You know what I'm saying? Let's get the cutting of the bread over with. But we just cutting them like this, and I'm gonna split them in half again. Why would you cut like the bread so, in half? This size. Um, you can make them big if you want. My mama cut it. What's that? Yeah, go take another bath if you like. Go ahead. Same with this. Split it down the middle. And then cut in half. This is the most tedious part. This is the tedious part, girl. The rest of this stuff will be easy. But I like to do it with Cuban bread. So all the bread has been cut into these smaller pieces. And now what we're going to do is we're going to butter our bread. I'm going to use my Country Crock Original butter this is the only kind of butter people should use i would assume everybody uses this but wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. everybody in my family uses the only butter what people you should use butter your bread. i've read the packaging it's only like, like extra with very 60 extra with percent vegetable oil or something like that it says but what's the other 40 you're it's never like, gonna lose weight okay so that's it's not gonna it's gonna real gonna butter fire. we're gonna put a lot of butter upon that thing okay like that you can even put butter around the edges if you like that thing to be real crispy because when it bake in the oven oh baby it's gonna be a good time like that it's gonna be a good time i'm ready for this you know grandma used to do it so how this came about is i know they sell pizza like this now like in the stores you can go get like pizza on bread like this but my great my, not my great grandma my grandmother she worked for the school board for many years in the kitchen for like over 27 years something like that and then she retired but my grandmother said 
I asked her that one time, how you came up with this? Because it was so good. It's, we called it ghetto pizza. She said one time she had three kids and she was a single mom. And she said one time she ain't had nothing, no money, you know, no food stamps or nothing. She had nothing, absolutely nothing to feed her kids. But she just had some leftover. She had some leftover um, Cuban bread. She had she had um, some leftover meat from the night before when she made spaghetti. She ain't had no spaghetti noodles. She had some butter and she had some cheese, some whipped cheese. And she was like, you know what? I'm gonna make the kids pizza. And she made the kids pizza and it turned out to be the best meal her kids ever had. And my mama them used to go crazy about it. Then they had us and she started just making it. Like when I was little, I could remember going to my grandma's house as a kid and for ghetto pizza night like that was something we did at least once a month we went and had ghetto pizza night and she never just made the meat it was always like the meat was from the day before when she made spaghetti so that's why i'm doing it after i made spaghetti it's just like i guess you can say tradition I'm 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 from the I'm term ghetto pizza i would have never guessed but that's a really sweet story just adding our butter now you know i'm on a little health journey eventually I might change my lifestyle. Like y'all might see me eventually. Um, eating healthier. I feel like that's the same outlook I have right about now. eating better. I'll do it eventually. What you In mean? the meantime, just give me some Cheetos and Twizzlers. Can I edit my video? Oh, edit this video? Oh, my son said edit that part out of the video. What you want me to make them think I'm eating healthy? Yeah. <laughs> My five-year-old said edit it so y'all think I'm eating healthy. All right, son, I got you. All right, that was our last bread. So now that that's done, our meat is warm. I think I am going to be bougie, but I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared to use my glass thing and these come out soggy. Like and when I use the foil, I know for sure they're going to come out perfect. I'm going to use my foil. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to still use my foil that way since I'm trying to show y'all. I want to make sure they come out right versus using my thing and they come out foggy then i'm mad then i can't upload it so we just gonna stick to how we do things over here i'm just placing all of these on the foil this is what our bread is looking like just with butter cut in half with butter now we're gonna add our meat all right guys so i'm gonna start putting my meat on the bread this is that gonna be a little soggy maybe not though because she buttered the bread it might harden it might. This is honestly giving me sloppy Joe vibes, though. That's not looking too appeasing. Wait. Also, I messed up with these. I can't find my other spoon with a drainer. So we just gonna have to use my frying. My frying spoon. That's why Cuban bread is better. Because Cuban bread is like deeper dish. This is like I can barely put any meat on here. Which I might go ahead and have to put these in those metal plates cuban bread for those of you who's had it y'all know what i'm talking about it's like deep dish. i have to so look for that at the store because i've yeah. never yeah. seen yeah. cuban bread never had it that's french fries they're just falling down and stuff yeah they just falling down they're 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 just Deluxe, deli deluxe craft cheese, American. Craft I guess that is ghetto cheese, cheese but <laughs> that, I, I hope y'all aren't eating that cheese. That's fake cheese. It doesn't even melt when you put a lighter to it. So, so you know. Y'all better not spit on each other. That's disgusting. And just put it on, on top. And you can make it fold down, like if you want to, you can make it go like that, if you want to. It's up to you. So this one is done. I end up putting it on a separate foil. We are gonna take it and put it in the I'll sit it right here. Just like that. Just like that. The other ones, I might go ahead and cook them in the um, glass container that I showed you my parents got me. But we're just gonna put these in the oven. All right, guys, so next we're going to put the next batch in this glass container just to avoid 
it falling everywhere and just being sloppy and crazy looking. But I've never cooked them in here before, so I'm nervous. Because I want them to be real crispy at the bottom. But that's how that's looking. We're going to put this in the oven now. I'm going to leave them in here a little bit longer, but yes, I'm Lord. Like Get them, I'm going to eat them. They so I'm good like this. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm talking about, but it comes with experience. Y'all see how that bread starting to get a little brown, little little brown. We know it's red. We're gonna so take now it we're going to go ahead and put that second batch in the oven. Mm -hmm. It has been out of the oven. Mm -hmm. It is cooled down. Mommy, the kids all up. want some. This is the second batch that I put in my metal, my glass um thing my mom bought me. I think I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. The bread don't look crispy yet. I like for the bread to be real crisp. So we're going to let that go a little longer. Took it out the oven, but it still, you know, has to cool off. It don't look half bad. It's not burned. That's the shit. You know it's what? Just already I think right I'm going to try this. I would probably just use French bread, real butter, and maybe a block of cheese so I can get in there and shred it myself. But beyond that, this doesn't look half bad, and it keeps me eating at home more because... Right now, with everything going on, I don't really trust anybody touching my food, so I'd rather cook. Alright y'all, that is it for this reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram, photos, and videos of things you would like for me to react to next. And in the meantime, I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys!